So let's just talk about the Prim's algorithm to find the minimum spanning tree from a connected, undirected, weighted graph. So here are the steps that we're gonna follow. First of all, we're gonna remove all the loops and parallel edges from this graph. So here we have the self loop. So we're gonna remove that. Here we have the parallel edge. We're gonna keep the edge with the lowest weight. So that means we're gonna remove this edge. Now we can choose any vertex as the starting point. So let's just start from this vertex A. Now we have to select the smallest edge. So that means we're gonna compare between 5 and 2. So because 2 is the smallest, so that means we're gonna take this edge from A to B. So we have taken this edge. So again we have to repeat the same process. Now we're gonna compare all the edges connected to A and B. So we're gonna compare between 5, 3, 6 and 8 because all of them are connected to A or B. So we have to choose the smallest between them. So because 3 is the smallest, so we're gonna take this edge. Now we're gonna compare the edges connected to A, B and D. So that means we're gonna compare between 5, 7, 6 and 8 and we're gonna choose the smallest among them. So because 5 is the smallest, but still we cannot choose this edge because if we choose that, you can see we have the cycle. So there should not be any cycle. So that means we cannot choose this edge. So the next smallest edge is this one. So that means you have to take this edge instead of the 5. Now we're gonna compare between the edge 7, 4 and 8. And we're gonna choose this one which is the smallest among them. So we're gonna take this edge. So now we're gonna compare between the edges 6, 1 and 8. And we're gonna take this edge with the smallest weight. Now again we have to compare between 6, 9 and 8 and we're gonna take this edge. So we're gonna choose this edge with the smallest weight. So this is our resultant minimum spanning tree which contains all the vertices from this graph and here the edge number will be number of vertices minus 1. So this is the way we can use the Prim's algorithm to find the minimum spanning tree. Thank you.